हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल हेलो गाइस वेलकम अगेन इन दिस वीडियो इन लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ कोरोटीन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द थियोटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कोरोटीन्स एंड वी हैव लर्न हाउ वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट द कोरोटीन्स and what is the coroutines and how it replacing the ascent task concept so in this video i will implement this program which i have shown in the last presentation last video so how we will use this how we will implement this we will learn it so first of all we have to insert a dependency so here i have to copy this dependency and here i have already opened the android studio here i have to insert this dependency and we have to click on sync now so by this way i will insert the coroutine facility or library in my application then i have designed the application also if you will see this application it is coming so i have designed also this is the image view i have put the image view and button also when i will click on this button and it will open the image in image view for that it will download the image from the internet and will display in image view that is the purpose of this program to use the io operations the threading the coroutines here in this program so for that if i go to the coding here i have used the view binding concept because i don't like view find by view id method so if you want to remove find by view id so you can use view binding you can use view binding in java also or in kotlin also what is this if you want to read so you can read my blog this is my blog uh, geniusweaponmedium.com go there and you can read about the theoretical concept of coroutines also or you can read about how to protect the virus uh, your Uh, android application with the reverse engineering on co copy or uh, piracy so this is the video uh, the blog which you have to read about uh, view binding so just click on it and here i have explained what is view binding why it is required and how we can overcome find by view id method so what are the requirement of this to use it so these are the some configurations which you have to make and by this way you can use it in java also or in kotlin also just read the blog it's a small two or three page of configuration read it and you will be able to use the view binding as i am using so a for you binding just i'm using view binding and dot image button dot set on click listener and here on click listener and enter so i have the function here like this and here i am calling the method get image by coroutine this is my method which in which i will do the coding of coroutines so in earlier method we have to use ascent task class we have to extend the in in ascent task class and we have to override do in background method but here in coroutine is very simple just we have to use a global method global scope and we have to launch this in global scope and here we have to pass the scope like this you see we have to pass the scope also the scope is like this dispatcher in which scope we want to run it so i want to run it in io environment that's why i am giving io and here i am using url class this is my url object and we are using the url class here we have to pass the object also so object means the image this image is from my youtube channel so i am passing here this image as a url for downloading now i am getting the http connection for this so url my url spelling i mistake to url so my url dot open connection as http because it's a kotlin not a java so we have to type cast like this 
and now we have to connect it dot connect so we connect it for downloading and then it, we have to download the image also so we are using bitmap and for that we are using bitmap factory so bitmap bitmap factory dot decode stream and here we are passing http dot input stream we have to pass here input stream in java we use get input stream here we use input stream now we have the images in bitmap now we launch coroutine again and i i am i will learn this coroutine now in a main in thread environment so i will pass here dispatcher dot main it's very simple just run the coroutine in io operation in io scope environment now i am running in the main environment main means the this activity environment now i can change the value of image so i'm using binding dot image view dot set image bitmap and here i am passing the bitmap which i downloaded just here and this application is ready if i run it i will share it here in the this it will be run so it is coming stalling launching activity a little bit slow you see this is the screen if i click on download button and it will download the image from the internet and it will show in this screen you see how fast it is and how simple it is without using as in task we have used the coroutines and perform our task so that is the advantage of kotlin over java that kotlin did use the number of line of code and it fast also so that's all in coroutines in first video we have seen the theoretical portion and the concept of coroutine and in this video we have learned the practical concept and how we can replace the ascent task by using coroutines in kotlin that's all in video we will see you more in future videos Thank you.